Yo, what is happening folks and welcome to yet another tutorial video with myself Howie Combrink and the HitLab Academy for YouTube. It's lovely to have you guys Yeah, I hope you're having a good week. It has not stopped raining where I'm at, so it's been awesome. It's been good to be inside studio and actually do these tutorials. But today we are going to speak about widening your lead vocal and we're going to use a plugin called Sample Delay, which is a stock plugin with Logic Pro X. And what it does is it creates a duplicate and a triple of your lead vocal. And then by way of millisecond, you can then massage that duplicate and that triple into the mix to make it sound right just for you and your track. So stick around, let's get into it. Vocal widening is a very interesting technique used in modern pop production. And you've probably heard it a hundred times on radio. Uh, most modern music on radio has a at least a little bit of vocal widening on it. I like to use it for a specific slap kind of, a stereo slap effect, which I'm gonna show you today. So let's get into Logic and check out the Logic Pro X sample delay. All right, so the first thing that I've got you is I've just got a mono vocal, one lead vocal that was recorded. I'm running an, uh, a Sheps Omni channel here with a couple of things going on just to make it feel nice with a very light reverb, Valhalla reverb. Let's have a listen to this mono vocal. I know that you are my everything, some kind of remedy. Oh. All right, so there's no widening going on there at the moment aside from the reverb that is spilling to the left and the right. So the first thing you want to do is head on over to your buses and you want to make a new bus. So we're going to select bus five for this one. You want to click over there by the little circle. Make sure that it has two circles because that means that the bus is a stereo bus and you're going to need a stereo bus in order to achieve the delay on the left and the right. Then the next thing you're going to do is head on over to Logic's sample delay and select stereo mode. Right, when the sample delay opens up, you've got delay left and delay right, and you can basically run that through, and you'll, yeah, it gives it a slight effect. So let's have a listen to that, and I'll dial it in a bit. I know that you are my everything, some kind. It basically just thickens the voice, but it's not actually pushing the vocals to the sides yet. You want to delay the lead vocal through that send a little bit to push it to the side so that it actually separates it from where it is in the middle. So the first thing we're gonna do to create the really nice warm pop stereo image sound is we're just gonna push this to about, let's say, let's select milliseconds over there. Let's go to around about 23 on that side and on the right side we'll do just a little bit less. Okay, so let me play that back for you and I'm gonna dial that in and I'll, and I'll push it quite loud so that you can actually hear what is happening with that uh, widening effect. I know that you are my everything, some kind of remedy, all things heavenly. I dream a thousand dreams of anything, face a hundred. And it gives it a really cool poppy kind of sound. And um, so that's one way to use this sample delay. The next way you can use it is to actually create a slap on either side. So you want to basically set your milliseconds to quite an extravagant number. So let's take it all the way to 100 and let's take that one all the way to say 149. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like. I know that you are my everything, some kind of remedy, all things heavenly. I dream a thousand dreams of anything. Face that's a really interesting effect. So if I play that back and I deactivate that sample delay and activate the sample delay, you'll get quite an accurate representation of what it would sound like on a record or in a final mix. So let's do that. I know that you are my everything, some kind of remedy, all things heavenly. I dream a thousand dreams of anything, face a hundred enemies as long as I got memories of you. Oh. So that's a really, really, really cool effect. And if you want to, you can basically go into that bus that you have put the sample delay on and you can select another bus there and you can send a reverb to it and you can make that reverb quite 
hectic and dial the ins the, the send feed down a little bit. So let's play that back and then dial it in and have a listen to what that sounds like. I know that you are my everything, some kind of remedy, all things heavenly. I dream a thousand dreams of anything, face a hundred enemies as long. So that's a really cool sort of pre-delayed reverb -y effect using just one reverb and the sample delay without using the pre-delay inside the reverb unit that's been selected. Well, folks, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a comment below. Tell us what you thought. Tell us if you wanna, if you wanna learn about something specifically, let us know, give us some ideas for some future videos. But otherwise, please go head on over to our channel, subscribe, hit the like button of this video and ring the bell on our channel for instant notifications to your feed. Until next time, folks, I hope you have yourselves a great week and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.